you guys what's happening. So, just got this computer second hand, and it was a non-working computer. And I'm going to try to figure out what's up with it. Um, I've already kind of done some basic troubleshooting. I kind of already know what's wrong with it, but I'm going to power it on, and I might get any sort of video on it. And so one of the first things I, I noticed um, was that this uh, the video card right here, it has an, an external video card, and also an internal built-in one, but the fan's not spinning. The power fan on the video card's not spinning. So that means the video card has a bad fan, it got stuck, and overheated the processor, or there's something wrong electrically with this video card. Um, so right now I'm not getting any video. Uh, okay, get the video card out. And we're going to verify that the video works. I'm going to plug in the onboard video right there. Let's see if this thing actually works. Okay. Alright, so we are getting video now. Uh, that with the onboard, so I know the computer actually works. All right, so this is the video card. It's actually not a really. It's not. It's actually kind of a pretty bad card. It's uh, pretty low end. It's a ATI. I think it's a forty. I looked at the specs. It's a forty-five uh, fifty, I believe, with one gig of RAM. Um, but it's actually a low-profile card, and that's why it's in this computer. It has HDMI, DVI. But with most things, computers or electronics. Usually what fails is um, the capacitors. And I already see something that sticks out on me that looks kind of odd here. It's why is this capacitor bent over like that? Whereas the rest are up, straight up like that. But I know the fan is actually not locked up, but it wasn't spinning. So, and I'm not getting any video out of this card, so... Yeah, look at that. Okay, yeah, it's a little smashed. Okay. Just because it smashes it doesn't mean it won't work though. Um, let me get my ESR meter out here and we'll, we'll test the caps. But usually, like I said, with most uh, computers, even like the uh, the motherboards, it's usually the voltage regulator module, you know, that actually that controls the processor voltage. That's usually their first place I look on a computer motherboard. Alright, yeah, so let's get this out. ESR meter out, and we'll get it going. Alright, so this is my uh, Atlas ER ESR meter, and this is designed to test capacitors actually in circuit, so I don't have to pull them out. So I'm going to first test this capacitor that actually looks like it's the same same spec. And then I'm going to actually uh, do it real fast. If you actually want this case, I uh, designed this in Fusion 360. Um, it's on my Thingiverse page below. Alright. Let's see if we can get some reading here. Okay. In circuit leaky. Okay, I'll try that again. Interesting. That's no guarantee, though. Isn't that weird? <laughs> so the cap that looks like it's broken. It's giving me a reading here. I gotta double check and see what it is. Like I, I gotta get my stronger glass on to see the, the letters here. But and this cap right here, which you think would be uh, looks okay on the outside, I don't see any bulging. Yeah, that's odd. All right, let me try this cap right here. All right, so I'm going to come back. I'm going to get my stronger glasses on and actually get the readings and values and see if I can figure this out. But that's that's pretty weird. But, yeah, I'm going to keep on. I'm going to get my uh, magnifying glass and look for charred components. All right, so I forgot to film this. I'm going to use my little solder sucker here to get the uh, cap out. All right, so I found a similar cap, and I, I keep scrap boards just for this reason, for little components. Um... Yeah, I don't want to spend any money on this video card. It's not worth it. Um, 
That's 470 microfarads and 25 volt. You can always go up in volt. You can't go down in volt. All right, so let's test this uh, cap I took out of the circuit here. Yeah, this tool saves so much time, this ESR meter. Put a link where you can get it, but... The cool thing is you can actually test them in circuit. So I kind of know if they're bad or not before I even take them out of the circuit. Cool, 447, in range. All right, so I'm gonna put that back in the board here. And we'll plug it in and see if we get any power on the fan. All right, got the cap in, get the cord back in. power in. Alright, got the card back in, plugged in. Let's see if that fan, we're looking at the fan right there. I'm going to hit the power button right here. I'm looking at the fan. Okay, cool. Now we got some power. And, ah, I got some video. Cool. Yeah, so if you guys want to save money, man, you should definitely, I mean, this thing saves me a lot of money, this ESR meter. Because usually with electronics, man, it's always the capacitors. So, all right, save some money. Cool.